When I was in Bihar, India, I walk into this concrete structure. Sweat is dripping down my brow. It's hot and humid. And I look across the room, and there's this lady, and she's, she's got these newspaper clippings with thread woven between them. And I realize that they're templates for, for how to make clothing. And there are women coming up to her, and they're, they're inquiring of her. And my friend Bijou, he leans over to me, and he whispers that she's testing them. They are learning how to develop a skill that's marketable, how to be self-sustaining through learning to be seamstresses and tailors. And I realized that she is showing me who Jesus is. She is doing like our great carpenter would do. She is using her hands to help and empower others. This is a beautiful thing and something I hope and wish that all of us could live up to. And I thought of Jesus when he says, you know, when the people, he, he recites this story, this parable, the people asking him, you know, when did we receive you, Lord? And he says, you know, when he received those who were thirsty and hungry and needy. And that's what this lady is doing with her own people. She has learned this skill, and now she's investing it back in them, into the hungry, and thirsty, and needy, to help them create sustainable businesses. I wonder how many of us would live up to the same expectation to be Jesus to others like she is. And I hope and pray that we can be so.